Michael, what a, we were just kind of talking about, what a great end of the season, back-to-back perfect games. Have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, no, I haven't. Uh, I've tried to do a little bit of research and see if, I, if it's ever happened before. I haven't found it, but, uh, you know, yeah, just amazing performances by our, both of our pitchers and our defense, and, uh, yeah, it was fun. Well, what made them so effective? You know, I think they, they were just on. You know, you have those games where everything's working for you, and uh, I think that that was one of the rare occasions where two pitchers in a row had everything working for them. You know, I think it helped that uh, they've been getting a little bit more rest during the during the week and stuff. And on the weekends, we've had some other of our younger pitchers step up and, and go in and get some innings and stuff like that. So they've they really, I think, they're just feeling good right now, and, and they're throwing really well. It didn't surprise me. The perfect games. That that's two in a row. That's a surprise for any any coach. But uh, it didn't surprise me that they performed well, just because they've been practicing at a high level. What was the mood in the the dugout like at the top of the fifth? Going into the top of what what was the mood? Yeah, I mean, just excited, but uh, you know, I mean, just kind of stay on course and keep focused and, and try not to think about that stuff so much and just just play the game. You know, the game doesn't know that uh, it's a perfect game. I mean, it's just the base are still sixty feet apart, the mound's forty three feet away, so it's just come out and play like you've been playing. So you, guys, so you guys don't have any games, no games this week, um, but you you LSC tournament in two weeks. I mean, what, what's the game plan for this week to get ready for the tournament play? I mean, we just got to keep ramping up our practices. We know that the intensity is going to get better as, as every game goes. Every game is more important. Uh, and the key for us is we've had some really good practices for the last couple of weeks is just to continue to do that. Practice at a high level, play the game in your head, be playing at, at the highest level that you can and picture yourself playing in a big game so that when you do get into that moment, you've already done it. Obviously, the goal is to win the Lone Star Conference Tournament, but aside from that, what do you think it's going to take for you guys to get onto the regional tournament? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, like you said, obviously the easiest way is to, to win the conference tournament. Uh, I think just, just come on and play like we're capable of. Uh, we haven't played a team this year that we, we can't play with, uh, and we're playing our best, and I think as long as we have that kind of a mindset, we come out and we, we play our hardest, uh, we're going to put ourselves in the best, best spot that we can. Also, 200 wins now career-wise for you. What a way to get you 198 and 100, 199 and 200 there with that, that perfect game. Yeah, I won't forget that. That makes it easy to remember those, uh, you know, just two great performances. And I think it was senior night, senior weekend. You know, I, I know both of our pitchers, they just wanted to come out and, and perform their best for the seniors, which if at the end of the season your, your team's playing hard because they don't want to let each other down, uh, you're going to get more out of them than you would out of anything else. So, uh didn't surprise me that our team played so well. We played really good defense behind our pitchers, too. I uh, had some really nice plays and some, some tough hit balls uh, to, to kind of seal things up. So it was a team effort all the way around and then putting up runs so that we, we only have to go five innings and don't have to go seven. Uh, and it makes it all, all easier, but uh, yeah. What would you say your most memorable win is out of those 200? Do you have like a most memorable win or like a favorite win? Man, that's a tough one. Uh, the last two games are pretty memorable. <laughs> Maybe it's just because those are the most recent, but uh, I've had lots of really memorable games along the way and just a lot of fun. And the biggest thing that I think is how much I love love coaching. 